If you're setting up campaigns inside of Go High Level or Coachera, then you know that you want to add your Facebook pixel. But where do you do it? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to add your Facebook pixel or your data set, as it's now called, inside of your funnels. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the Meta Pixel Helper. So if you go into Google and you type in Meta Pixel Helper, you will be able to find a free Chrome extension in this, this one, Meta, Meta Pixel Helper here. If you click on it, you should be able to click on download. So I've already uploaded it to, um, uh, to Chrome, so I can't download it. So over here on the right-hand side, you should see that you should be able to download. Now, when you download it, pin it to your toolbar. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry. It doesn't really matter, but I like to do that. When you download it, this is what the symbol looks like. This is what the Chrome extension looks like here. Now, to pin it to my taskbar, this is what I do. I simply go here. This is where most of my extensions are. I open the extension. I find the right extension. So in this case, it's this one, Metapixel Helper. I go to Details, and I go to Pin to Toolbar, and I turn this on, and that's why it's always here. Now, the importance of the Pixel Helper is that Whenever you click on any page, really, especially your pages, you get to see that you do have the pixel on there. So it's just a really quick reminder that you have the pixel. And especially if you're going to be running ads, you want to make sure that your pixel is not only on, but it's set up properly. So once you have the pixel helper there, the next thing you want to do is you want to open your business manager or your Facebook ads manager. There are several ways to do that. You can obviously go through your Facebook ads account. You can also type in business.facebook. Dot com and if you click on that if you click enter it's going to take you to your facebook account right there once you're inside of your facebook account you get to follow the next few tasks so for those of you who want to know how to create a pixel to begin with and um, what you want to do is you want to go into your ads manager so let's imagine that you've logged in or you can go to business.facebook.com right you can log in through that way um, as well, but I'm already logged in, so let me head back over there. If you are logged into Ads Manager, you want to come over here to the left and you want to go to All Tools. From All Tools, you want to go over here. We are looking for something called Data Sources, and unfortunately, everybody's Facebook ad account looks different. So this is how I find mine, but you want to look for um, uh, uh, data sources. So I find mine by going to Events Manager. For some of you, it might be listed on the left. For others, it might be listed in this area. But for my account and for some uh, other people's ad account, it's under here in Events Manager. So if I go to Events Manager there, And I go over to the left here, you can see that I now I have data sources. So I'm going to click on data sources. This is where your pixel is created. So you can see that I have two pixels already created. Now, Facebook has changed the name of pixels. And instead of calling it pixels, they now call it data sets. Right. So you want to remember that it's now called data sets. So this is what you're going to be seeing uh, for some of you inside of your ad account. Now, I have two pixels over here, but if you don't have any pixel, the best thing to do is to click over to the left here. And on mine, it says connect data sources. So I'm going to click on connect data sources over here and I'm going to uh, select web over here. I'm going to click on next over here and then you want to name your pixel so over here i can select the pixels that already exist however to create an, a pixel that doesn't exist i have to click on create a new data set which basically means create a new pixel so let's imagine that i need to create a new pixel i'm going to click on create new data set over here now i need to name my pixel so name it however you want uh you know starting with the name of your business for example so if i call this uh business rendering pixel. For example, I'm going to add the word demo so that I remember to delete it uh, later. You click on create. So we're not quite done. So close that page and on the left hand side, you should see the pixel that you have created. So remember earlier I had two pixels, so one, two, and this is the new pixel that I have just created. So um, you should see one if you have just created a pixel. If you click over on the pixel that you have just created, you will land over here on the overview where we have a couple of things to do. The first is setting up conversions API, and the other is setting up the meta pixel. So I'm going to do conversions API a little bit later, but let's first set up your pixel. So if I click on set up meta pixel over here, click on install code manually, 
this is your pixel code. What I highly recommend that you do is that you copy this. Not only will you be pasting it onto your landing page, but I also want you to put it onto a Google Doc. So open up a blank Google Doc and paste this in. So this is uh, my Facebook pixel. Paste that, leave that there, put a line through at the bottom just so that you know where it ends because we're going to add um, other codes to this. So you have that code. What we want to do is we want to paste this code onto your website. So you've created your pixel. Now we need to put it in the right place. So we've copied the code and we have pasted it on a Google Doc. So you still have it copied, right? Let me just make this in bold. And this is a Facebook pixel base code. Call this your base code because that's what it is, right? So you can edit that title there. What you want to do is you want to add it onto all of the landing pages because it's your base code. Now, the best way to do that is open your accounts. So those of you on Coachera, you know, go into your funnels. If you're on Go High Level, the same thing, go into your funnel. This works also for Click Funnels. It's all the same thing. Akatra, Kajabi, it's the same thing. So let me just tell you first what this code needs to do. What this code needs to do is that we need to place it on every single page. Now that takes a lot of time. So the best way to do that is in your funnel, go over here to settings and then go down here to head tracking code and hit paste. Whoops. See, because I had copied something else, a Loom video, it's pasted that. So just make sure that you're pasting the right thing. So I'm going to go back and copy the right code again, go back. Um, into my head tracking code and now I have the code. So let me just make this a little bigger um, to show you. So this is a, a whole bunch of code, but really the most important part is this part here that says page view and that's all it is. So your base code is literally just uh, uh, telling Facebook that somebody has viewed the page. And so because we have added this onto the settings, it has now, it will rather, add this onto all of the pages inside of this specific funnel. So make sure you click on save. Now, if you want this code in all of your funnels, then you've got to make sure that you add it into all of your funnels, right? Go into the settings of every single funnel and add it into the head code of every single funnel and then your page view is there. But this is the funnel that we're going to be working on and I have just added it there. So go ahead and do the same for yours. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I talk about all things recurring revenue, automation, social media and systems, all of that good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can see our videos three times a week. And of course, if you haven't already grabbed our latest workbook, it is normally $47, but I'm giving it away for free on this channel. And it is your recurring revenue workbook. If you want to have recurring revenue in your business and something that has absolutely changed my life, I've put all of my strategies inside of this workbook and it'll be linked right below this video. So go ahead and check that out. Of course, don't forget to check out this video before you leave.